this is a dead forest. This is where I am at right now. This is a lumber tree forest. The trees here are a casualty of political madness. You would say, no, this is not possible. Well, this is possible. Whatever you look, this is basically what you see. The first people in this forest, well, that's an interesting story, how that accident developed. Lumberbug forest, damage unprecedented. It all started here in 1995. And spread throughout the area in ripples, destroying all near forests. The further up I go, the worse it gets. It's like a graveyard of the trees. And that's basically what it looks like. It's a horror. And uh, I reminded myself of this, of exactly what we're on, because the tree you're about to see next, these are actually two trees. One tree is completely dry. It's dead, but it's leaning onto another one which is strong and healthy when compared to this other young dead tree and in this case well there are many young trees uh, down here also know that lumber bugs do not go necessary after what you see here they wait for the tree to grow to the certain size then they attack one you would not see exactly what you see here in the area so this is interesting fact too but it all started with a completely insane idea and that's basically destroying me annihilating me uh, and then through me transfer the money and to much younger, healthier, Russian-controlled female by a completely insane individual who became involved in MKUltra sometimes in 95, as early as 95, we would have a, when I was brought here, I was handed through Americans, through the Germans, to the Russians, but the completely insane female uh, the trees just break off of this. Completely, completely insane female. Wild, half mad, half wild. Uh, so our house here in Slovenia, Novo Mesto, 
and uh, decided that I'm going to be her husband. She was, she is about probably even, I don't know, maybe even, even two, three years older than myself. And it appeared to me that she just didn't know what the fuck to do with her life. She's from Moscow. Uh, I'm telling you, a complete, complete nutcase. She was a daughter of some kind of politician, of politician of some kind. and was certain that there is nothing she can do with this kind of attitude she was as she had me walk in area threatened me basically all the time trying to destroy me completely mentally as Try to turn me into just like a toy, basically obedient toy. I was told actually to even film this thing here. Told to film this thing here. It's uh, beautifully horrific. It's 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 beautiful, but it's actually really is horrific. So the day came when I'm eventually even doing this thing. It started with a tree right there. That's the tree right there. there are two trees. You can see one tree. And then you can see the other one, which actually was even wrapped around the other tree. I don't know how much you can see that, but... And then they separated the top and further would not wrap. But this was her fucking idea about two trees, how the two trees would grow. And it would be like in love with one another. And because, supposedly because I rejected her, I, I would be completely insane if I wouldn't, really. Um, she got a completely different idea sometimes with me to do. Sometimes in 98, after she met another guy, a finally Russian government had mercy on me and have found that lunatic a male that uh, pleased her, satisfied her need and I almost felt like uh, really they felt like it's, they would save my life literally the tree was not that lucky in 95, Borat Pahar was here. They had, they dispatched, they dispatched for whatever, for, for whatever or whoever they wanted to dispatch. They got him here. They had to make a survey uh, of the forests in Slovenia. In 95, this thing was. And in 95, I already threatened her that what I would do so I'm not even sure that this was done actually like in 98 or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that there was only one area in Slovenia. And that one, through that one, started, they claim, in Wikipedia. This is what they claim. In 94 that it started to spread. That's a huge forest area in Slovenia. It's called Snežnik. Now, I will not go down here. This I already have identified people down below here. I have no need to go down there. Uh, eventually, even they identified me.
Then what happened was, I will not forget this shit. No, this is definitely what happened. Within a year, two, in this region here, it's called Dolenska here. You never had any kind of lumber bugs, anything like this that would do something like this to the tree. Then it started to spread as the first place right here in this place here. Just know that I am maybe like four kilometers, three kilometers away from my home. So this is the real deal. This is the real shit. This is what I was brought from the U.S. to um, satisfy the appetites of Moscow, literally. And I regretfully say so, Moscow, because at the time, as I told this girl, I told her, listen, I am going to fucking destroy you. You don't even know who you're playing with. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through your diplomacy, through your attorneys in Moscow, contact them, explain them who you are, what you're doing. And by God, you're going to stay in the jail for the rest of your life. She would threaten me. And I started to threaten her back. And I was actually more merciless than she was when she was threatening me. To the point that uh, she completely psychologically crushed. Ran to, uh, to Vladimir Putin. To these politicians and told them that, that I am not afraid that... Uh, that the, what about if I will really do with the stuff that, that I said and this and that and that, that she's scared of me and this and that and that was pretty much the end of it but three years later uh, she promised me exactly what you have seen basically that I will be sucked dry, destroyed and will seek support in something younger, female which is gonna just suck me, basically use me and throw me away, financially. This is the Ruska Baika, which someone really believed is gonna turn for real. It didn't, and it will never happen. They tried to sell us Baikas like this, uh, it's this kind of bikas they used to sell to Polacks, to Ukrainians, but this kind of bika will not sell here. And I say so, even for the cost of the people that they got completely, uh, you have no idea. Uh, we, I have a police officer over there, a neighbor who in 95 when I was brought here he became he started to explain all the village people how it's a normal thing in Russia that if the lady wants to fuck you and marry you that you just go down on knees uh, and you just do whatever she had to do she's to say or you are fucking dead basically he started to spread this kind of stuff and uh, that girl that I have mentioned she was physically extremely unappealing and let me tell you that she got from our guys here if she needed they, they satisfied it they did whatever it takes it took uh, and then they bragged about it and stuff and this in front of me and then I started to humiliate them and fuck them and uh, and yeah, then a war exploded between me and them. Some of them, they were so terrified that now she had a partner, two other guys, males, that would behave like completely insane. They would just, they didn't have the fucking driver license in Slovenia at all. They didn't have a driver license. They, they could not operate the vehicle here in Slovenia. Yeah, they would go and they would get, they would threaten, I think, some Serb over there in the... Everybody was afraid of them. I think it was on a... This Maida Shields and this Ragoska, this apartment building. 
the guy lost fucking cool man he gave them a key from the car uh so he didn't know what the fuck he's doing this just completely out of here knowing basically did not even know what the fuck and took his car and just uh, rambled the city with this uh fiat driving back and forth like a cowboys basically like you wouldn't fucking believe they would come uh i mean this this was like almost like in a cowboy movie or something like this i don't even know there was no fear from the police no 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 shit i don't know if they even cared about the signs on the fucking road uh this is like something that like you would not believe what the hell this was this is real actually this shit is real this is 95 96 here in slovenia uh where uh, these people are from moscow uh once you saw the stuff like this you would say man uh this is not this is not real this shit this is not real and that's the kind of stuff that actually boosted donald trump it boosted nazism it boosted shit it boosted the stuff that otherwise uh would not exist ever is the damage they cost emotional to the people like you would not even believe the stuff the people people uh people started to become strange they started to develop strange idea even about the russian people and stuff like this this was so fucking bizarre so crazy that there is no movie that possibly could depict such a madness such a such an insanity that these people brought from moscow and as i stated earlier the worst the worst of it all was that i don't know who was it yeltsin i don't know who the president of the russia was but uh, maybe i don't know maybe to discourage me from pursuing my life literally the way i wanted in the us i was in the us i was in miami since the end of the 94 uh they issued the statement through their diplomacy and i don't even know if they had an embassy here in slovenia at that time yet at the time uh that and they give me they, they had me read this these are actually this is these are the people these are the these are the people that the russian government basically stands for that they approve this kind of actions they had me this read this kind of stuff through the computer that it was then slovenian politicians that will come and explain to me that this is the way it is these are actually uh first it was like it's not gonna be real this is not gonna happen this is not gonna be fucking real something like this that the russian government would actually stand behind something like this then they actually did i understand issue this kind of statement and this and that and then uh the people would just i i guess lose their hope and that was a major victory like i said for the side that otherwise never ever would gain any kind of sympathy here this is the way it started uh the woman so insane so crazy that eventually vladimir uh putin no longer would appear i think like in uh, 97 or maybe even 96 he would just skip the visitations because it was i don't know was it maybe to boost his popularity here or something like this but he claimed back then that he doesn't want to work along these people uh because this was like a completely mad team like so fucking mad that it was actually too mad even for him even he was scared of them and he was scared of them because these are the people that were i don't know what kind of i was it like a, a some kind of military personnel or something that russia was run like a mob like a like a mafia state back then because of the soviet union fall because the soviet union had fallen apart uh the country was like in a total total disarray okay so in dolenska region it's a big fucking region this is the hill where it all started this is the putinist blueberry hill at night time when we would walk through here I, eventually one time uh was it like in 95 or 96 i don't know they would hey it was this guy 
somebody that I did not see who the fuck, but they had people literally going around at night time and planting these bugs into the trees. Not into the trees, but into they would they would I don't know how they do it. Do they put this Okay, a Russian method, a Ruski method, they learned this shit. Literally they like a warfare, like a bio warfare. Yeah. Brought literally from the Russia on how to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, it started over here. So they had this kind of uh, engineering, social engineering method, a way basically to depress people, farmers. Uh, it was like a fog, like a like a fucking fog that would come to independent Slovenia. You understand? Everything was beautiful, fantastic, nice. Uh, people started to gain jobs. People started to have life, freedom. You, know, you, you didn't have to be afraid anymore. Uh, you know, that they're gonna come for you in the middle of the night or I don't know. Uh, they're gonna disappear maybe on some island for like 15, 20 years. Uh, or something like this. Like a Goliotokos, for instance. Uh, and all of a sudden, boy, uh, it was again like a fog, like a thick fog that would descend down on a little country and swallow one. More of these politicians came, the more shit started to happen, the worse things came. The Russians eventually knew that they commit tremendously a lot of crime against me. Uh, Putin was under the tremendous pressure and eventually individual went ahead and signed. Uh, they told me sometimes uh, they were afraid of me. Like, they told me like, this guy, this, this KGB guy who was involved, he said, well, he said, uh, eventually it may even happen that we are not going to be afraid of you anymore. If the deal comes true, uh, if the deal happens, if the deal comes true, uh, what's going to happen is we're not going to even be afraid of it. So that means that they signed the deal with the West and that's the deal, the neo-Nazi deal I was talking about. So I think that this kind of evil was actually a necessary part, that this was actually part of the politics that Vladimir Putin, this is a known gangster from Russia, actually. This is a gangster, uh, have used, not only against Slovenia, I think this is the stuff he already started in Russia. I think that he already blackmailed a Russian state. I think that he was involved in all kinds of transactions, if you have seen the movie about him. And I think this here actually is, like his psychology that that to to hit the deal to create something he had to do something so fucking bad bad stuff you know, unimaginable stuff criminal stuff imagine i was american citizen even i am american citizen i'm not only slovenian and the russian government that they would go ahead and hijack american citizen and torment torture one and do all kinds of stuff uh, if the news like this would come into the mainstream media, stuff like this, my God, probably I have no idea what exactly would happen with with a country like a Russia, with the, uh, uh, what, uh, the sanctioned one to the bitter end, like uh, no Russia would ever be allowed to step maybe in America or something like this, in that sense, you know. So he needed this kind of crime, basically. He needed this kind of crime so he could actually get the deal done. And the West needed that kind of stuff too, because it was also for them unheard of that they would go and hijack somebody who came uh, to the US, to the free, to the land of the free, brave, I don't know, freedom. Uh, and uh, he would be eventually extradited into the hands of some completely other country as a US citizen and stuff like this for the torture purposes and so on. So they, they, they really, really, really needed this shit. You know, I wish, I wish, uh, you know, I wish I would be with this kind of news. There is no way you can point at one side. This is where the problem is. This, this shit that you see here, this is the work of both sides. And Slovenia was just 
happen to be one that pay for this stuff. The farmers around here, the people that I have spoken with, uh, devastated, pissed off. You know, every time they saw me when they brought me here, this is basically what they saw it. Uh, definitely, I got extra points on a negative side. Also because of this stuff, there was all kinds of stuff out there that happened. People died. Difficult, difficult times for Slovenia. And so, I sincerely hope Russian government is going to grab this thug for his balls and rip them apart. Because otherwise, really, I don't know how they're going to explain how they're going to, to justify madness they created in this little country. This is not what the way it's supposed to be. Slovenia is not the country that would be hostile toward the Russians. This is crazy shit. Slovenia is like extremely welcoming country. It's a country that welcomes Russian people. Uh, Slovenian people take a pride in helping Russian people. Uh, under no circumstances would this be some kind of uh, trick that Slovenian people would want to use against the Russia. This is a fucking nonsense. Slovenia has actually a Russian flag. This is the only country that in the world that has a Russian flag. Uh, not even in Kaliningrad, uh, if they have a state flag, I don't know. The flag looks like a Russian flag, like Slovenian does. Slovenian flag is a Russian flag. So this is, this is a fucking madness. And I sincerely hope that Vladimir Putin is going to pay for this. This girl, this mad girl, uh, she obtained some kind of degree, diploma, in, I think, uh, it was a 90... 99, 2000, something like this. She went to some kind of university and finished her uh, degree, diploma. But boy, I tell you, this is this this girl. This 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 girl. This girl. I'm gonna tell you, the boys from the from the village where I am, it, they some escaped. You understand? Some escaped the village because of the horror. Some adult man like myself. 30 years old, uh, 25, 30 years old, 35 years old, escaped. They disappeared because of the, as an example, madness like this. They fucking hide me inside of their rooms and they were looking all, all, in the village all over me. This was in 95 and 96. And they said, just shut up, shut up, just be quiet. I will hide you. I will not let you. They will not get you. We're not going to let you. Just be quiet, please. Uh, and, I, and I told him, no, man, what the fuck are you afraid of? Hey, uh, you know, the thing is, they always felt, you know, what are you going to be afraid of if you haven't done anything wrong? You know, they did this. They did, this was their ideas. They, they, they are doing the criminal stuff. And uh, I felt that you just have to explain this. Uh, to the Russian authorities and they're gonna grab them. They're gonna come and they're gonna grab them. They're gonna arrest them They're gonna take them away forever. You know, I don't think that any government in the world uh, would like criminals uh, Even less so to represent them on foreign soil and stuff like this Well, I was obviously very very wrong when it comes to Russia. This is just uh country that somehow adheres to a criminal mafia state alike, like a gangster ran state, basically. I, and I say so because they continue to very today to approve Vladimir Putin. You understand? Because there is no like presidency there is not even like somebody like uh, Boris Yeltsin or something like that there's not even somebody like actually I don't even know who the president was there was it Gorbachev or who was it I don't know look uh, but I think I feel that the president of the state 
should be the president, just that. Uh, and that state should closely supervise, control business people, uh, which are, of course, necessary part of the society, which commensurable with their contributions, with their real contributions, should be valued within the society also, especially and according to their behavior. Not only according to their economical, so, uh, social standings, you know that you have a lot of money, but the way you, the way you, your conduct, the way you present yourself in a society, are you fucking normal, or you are demonstrating, you know, some kind of a mafia ways, you know, some kind of criminal ways, inciting basically, judging society to become a corrupt uh, society and so on that that's the kind of stuff that i imagine society productive to society to be as and none of this russian billionaires really deserved for anywhere to be seen different from russian workers from the people from the from the average taxpayer to the people that bust their ass all their lives to have in the end almost nothing really seriously serious subject